Approach to a patient with abdominal pain. Let's begin our approach using P3 Maftosa, 3 P's, present complaint, past complaints, personal history. Let's start with present complaints. Do you mind if I ask you what has brought you into hospital, here, or how have the abdominal pain been affecting you? Can you please tell me more about it? Specifically, ask about pain questions using Socrates PDA site. Where exactly do you feel the pain most? Usually, a crushing or squeezing type. Central abdominal pain is of cardiac origin. In contrast, epigastric pain is mostly due to peptic ulcer disease or gastroesophageal reflux disease. Onset, how did the pain start? What were you doing when it started? Determine it is sudden or gradual in onset. Is it the first time, or were there previous episodes? And how often has it been coming? Ask about any history of a similar episode in the past and assess how frequently it is happening. Character, can you please describe the pain for me? Sharp stabbing abdominal pain may be due to pancreatitis. However, sharp, burning like pain is due to gastroesophageal reflux disease. Next, ask about radiation. Does this pain go anywhere else? If the answer is yes, then ask where it goes. Pain radiating to the back may be due to pancreatitis or aortic dissection. Associated symptom. Here is list of differential diagnosis that may simulate the abdominal pain but spectrum of various symptoms will help us to make a possible diagnosis. Let's have a quick review of relevant systems that will lead us towards final diagnosis. Starting with gastroesophageal tract symptoms. Ask, do you feel an acid taste in your mouth? Any burning sensation in the tummy? Difficulty in swallowing, nausea, vomiting, have you ever had vomiting containing blood, or any black colored stool, any change in skin color or itching, for urinary symptoms, how frequently do you have to pass urine, do you have trouble holding urination until you get to the toilet, do you have to wake up at night to go to the toilet, do you feel fullness even after passing urine, how is your flow of urine, is it continuous, or is there any dribbling after urination, do you have to strain during urination? Have you passed stones in the past? Did you notice any blood? Do you have to wait before starting urination? Have you noticed any change in the color of your waterworks? Do you have to rush to the toilet for urination? Was there any pus in urination? Do you feel burning pain while urinating? Gynecological symptoms. Ask about 4P. Period. LMP. When were your last periods? If more than 4 weeks, then she might be pregnant. How many days did they last? Are they irregular? Do you have pain? Any bleeding between your periods or after intercourse? Are you on pills? Oral contraceptive pills are a risk factor for pulmonary embolism. Pregnancy. If she is not active, so she is not pregnant. Then ask, have you ever been pregnant? Duration of pregnancy? Mode of delivery? How many children do you have? Any miscarriage or abortion? Any complications before, during, or after pregnancy? Pap smear, when did you have your last pap smear? What was the report? Was it normal? If it is abnormal, have you booked an appointment with GP? Moreover, ask about exacerbating factors. Does anything make it worse? Does eating, moving, or opening your bowels make it worse? Peptic ulcer disease or gastroesophageal reflux disease pain exacerbates by eating. Furthermore, pain due to pericarditis, pancreatitis, and gastroesophageal reflux disease worsens by position. Further, ask about relieving factors. Does anything make it better? Peptic ulcer disease or gastroesophageal reflux disease pain gets better with the use of antacids. Ask, have you tried any analgesics? As pain due to pericarditis, respiratory or musculoskeletal origin improves with painkillers. Next, ask about scale. If I was to give you a scale from 1 to 10, 1 is the lowest, and 10 is highest, how do you scale the pain? Then, about, progression. Ask, has the pain changed over time? Is it the same, getting better or worse? How is this pain different from previous episodes? Additionally, regarding, duration, how long is it present? Anything else? Now, let's have a quick look at the possible differentials. The location of the pain within the abdomen may be a clue as to its cause. Pelvic pain, in women, Pain in the reproductive organs of the lower abdomen can be caused by severe menstrual pain, ovarian cysts, miscarriage, fibroids, endometriosis, pelvic inflammatory disease, ectopic pregnancy, 
pain in the center of the abdomen might be from mesenteric ischemia, ruptured aortic aneurysm, pancreatitis, lower left abdominal pain may be caused by Crohn's disease, cancer, diverticular disease, irritable bowel syndrome, upper left abdominal pain is sometimes caused by splenic infarction, kidney infection, causes of right iliac fossa abdominal pain include appendicitis, Crohn's disease, upper right abdominal pain may be from hepatitis, biliary colic, cholecystitis, cholangitis, next is epigastric pain, possible causes include pancreatitis, gastroesophageal reflux disease, past complaints, similar complaints, has anything like this has happened to you, for how long, what did you take for it, is it well controlled, are you taking any medication, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, corticosteroids may cause gastric ulceration, drugs like azathioprine, didanosine, and thiazidiuretics may cause pancreatitis, do you have any long-time medical condition? If yes, then ask how long, is it well controlled? Ask about hospitalization, saying, have you ever been hospitalized? If the patient says yes, then ask, what was the reason? Recent surgery is a risk factor for pulmonary embolism. Next step is, personal complaints, I'm going to ask you a few personal questions, and whatever you say will be confidential. Smoking, do you smoke? If the patient says yes, then ask, how many cigarettes do you smoke a day? For how long have you been smoking? Tell me about your sleep. Do you drink alcohol? If the patient says yes, proceed by asking what do you prefer to drink? How much? For how long have you been drinking like this? How is your appetite? Recreational drugs. By any chance, do you take recreation drugs? If the patient says yes, then proceed by asking, sorry to ask you, but what do you do? How do you take it? If injecting, ask, by any chance do you use a new needle all the time? For how long you are doing this? Do you use any other recreational drugs? Weight change. Have you been weighing on the higher side? If yes, ask about bowel habits. How often do you open your bowels? Have you noticed any change? Sexual history. Are you sexually active? If the patient says no, then ask, have you ever been sexually active? If the patient is sexually active, then ask, sorry to ask you this but are you in a stable relationship? For how long? Are you on any contraception? Did you travel abroad before your symptoms? Did you have any sexual relationship there? Allergy. Are you allergic to any particular substance? Family history. For carcinoma history in a family is essential. Ask, I am very sorry to ask, but anyone in your family is diagnosed with a sinister disease? Cancer. Occupation history What do you do for a living? Ask about the nature of the work. Whether he has had to take time off from work due to pain? Social history. Where do you live? Whom do you live with? Do you drive? Inquire about the functional status of the patient, particularly the impact on the activities of daily living. Anything else you want to tell me? Now, in the end, take your time for an impression. Then, please turn to the examiner and say, based upon my history, my most probable diagnosis is this. My differentials are this, this and that, and I should have ruled out this and that. Thank you for watching. Stay connected and subscribe to this channel for more interesting medical professional videos. And, good luck with your exam.